to die! We're all going to die! Alone? I can't fight them by myself. I saw what they did to the others. Haven't you seen the bodies? If I hide here, maybe they'll take what they want and leave. Really? The Thalmor are still here? I heard their captain ran away or was killed. Maybe we've got a chance with them on our side. Belen Harbor's my home. I'll fight for it. The invaders crossed the bridge. They've taken over the entire town. The fists of Thalma. I thought they ran off. But how can they take back our entire town? There aren't enough of them. I heard the captain... Well, they've got me. Give me a weapon and I'll learn how to fight. Thanks for finding me. I... I don't think I could have done anything on my own. You sweat.
damned. Nice work. I'll train our volunteers as quick as I can. Lieutenant Aaron wouldn't wait for us. He took a few of the more hot-tempered civilians and headed across the bridge. He thinks the captain is still alive. No, but I don't want a good officer dying for one that might already be dead. Lieutenant Aaron is young, but he's one of the best lieutenants we have. The captain? Let's just say we can always get more like her. Sharp, aren't you? When the assignment came down for us to be an honor guard for the Green Lady, Captain Kularalga pulled as many strings as she could to get command. Recognition is everything to her. Fighting isn't. It. Thank you for rallying these brave men and women. We stand a chance now. She does? I'm surprised. The sergeant's one of the hardest fighters I know. We can't let up. The captain either died fighting or she needs our help. Either way, we have... Until I know for certain, it's my duty to attempt a rescue. Captain Coloralda and her men were on the docks when the regatta landed. She might have gotten safely into the lighthouse. But I don't... We need to alert the rest of the Broken Coast. I want to send a runner to Deepwoods, just in case we can't take back the harbor. I'll keep pushing forward on the slim chance the captain's alive. But I've an idea that needs your help. The Droblog hold the landward gate out of Velen Harbor. I need you to clear the way for the runner. When the road's clear, blow this signal horn, and one of our sprinters will take word to Deepwoods. The rest of the militia and I will stop the Droblog from burning this area to the ground. I'll make one of the buildings atop the hill into a makeshift headquarters. When the runner clears the gate, meet us up there. I don't want to hurt you, but now I'm going to. I'm off to deep woods. Wish me luck.
the militia? Are, are they all right? I tried to lead them. I couldn't wait for them. Ran ahead. Too far ahead. Impatience. My curse. They'll pay for this. Oh yes, they'll pay. Lieutenant Aaron's gone. Damn idealistic bastard. I tried to protect him, but he wouldn't let me. Chief Markhook, the leader of the Drablok. I didn't realize what he'd done until I got in here. Much as I want that bastard's blood on my sword, I can't. I told the lieutenant I'd protect the civilians. I'll start moving the militia toward the warehouse district. Meet me at the bridge when Chief Makhug is dead. Once you kill the Drablog's leader, I hope those orcs lose interest in the town. Curse it. Lieutenant Aaron was a good leader, and dedicated to the Dominion, if a bit hot-tempered. I'll do my best to keep things together, but it'll be hard without him. Tired. Angry. Sad. I want to kill every Drablog and Redguard in Velen Harbor. Lieutenant Aaron was ten times the leader the captain was. He didn't deserve to die. You know, I bet the Drablog are only in this for pay. They'll quit when they see we aren't easy marks. Then we'll fight until they leave, or help arrives. The Queen will send an army to protect the Sylvanar and Green Lady once she hears what's happened in Velen Harbor. So I fight, and I'll keep fighting no matter what. I don't feel the same way about the Captain as the Lieutenant does, did. Captain Coloralda was always a bit of a martinet, which isn't bad in and of itself, but I never thought she has what it takes to lead troops into battle. Nothing. Everything. I don't know. It's just a feeling I have. Despite what the Lieutenant says, said, I think the Regatta landed very easily. We should have had some warning. Anyway, nothing we can do about it now. Fire and sword. Captain Al Holland insists Bellum Harbor was burned.
I hope you've had as much luck as we have. Is the Drablug's leader dead? Good. I've had a bit of luck myself. I sent our militia toward the dock. They're waiting for me so we can attack the invaders. No, we need a distraction so I can get the militia into position. The invaders are unloading supplies. Setting them on fire should be plenty distracting. The supplies, I mean. Burning's too good for the invaders. My team will hit them from behind. By the time you're done burning their supplies, they'll be split up and scattered. We'll hit them on the docks while you attack from the warehouse side. We'll exterminate them like the vermin they are. You in? That is beyond me. If I have to guess, I'd say this isn't some minor piracy, but the spearhead of an invasion. But I'm no officer. I fight for a living. Anyway, burn the supplies, and that'll get their attention. Ready? I'll order the militia to strike when we see enough smoke. If we can catch them by surprise, we'll drive the invaders toward the lighthouse. If not, well, it was an honor.
Lamorian has returned? You did it. I'll keep the militia fighting. We'll keep the rest of the Regatta off your back while you deal with their leader. Once he's dead, they'll break. I'm sure of it. We've come so far. We'll win this yet. It's what Redguards from Northern Tamriel call themselves. Velen Harbor used to trade with Redguard merchants, so they grew to call them Regatta as a sign of respect. From this point on, I'll bet it's a curse. Done it! By the gods, the lieutenant would be proud. Yes, we did. The Drublog fled the town as soon as they learned you'd killed their leader. We defeated the remaining regatta, other than a few hold up on their ship. We'll take care of them later. In the meantime, we made an interest. Captain Kularalda, leader of Velen Harbor's Fists of Thalmar, the honor guard for the Sylvanar and the Green Lady, was found hiding beneath the docks, without a scratch on her still in her hidey hole. I put some guards on her, in case she tries to disappear. Or the civilians try to lynch her. She has an interesting tale to tell. You should hear it. Victory heals wounds as well as laughter does. And I've had a touch of both today. Of course, there's grim work ahead of us, cleaning up after the invaders. But at least the city- You should. You'll see what the lieutenant and I had to deal with. I'm heading back toward the center of town to make certain everything's secure. I'll meet you in the warehouse district. Victory heals wounds as well as laughter does. And I've had a touch of both today. Of course, there's grim work. Outrageous. I am a captain of the Fists of Thalmor. By what authority does a mere sergeant keep me detained? When my superiors hear what happened this day, Sergeant Lenarie will be court-martialed. We were inspecting ships when a sentry cried out, Sail ho! or something equally meaningless. It didn't make any sense. After all, we expected a ship. I told the men to... And look like fools in front of the Green Lady? Of course I didn't sound the alarm. When the enemy attacked, I immediately saw we'd be overwhelmed. I organized a retreat and hid until reinforcements arrived. How dare you? I did what I had to do to save my command. The lieutenant's sacrifice was... unfortunate. If he'd waited... I'm sure the raiders would have taken what they could and left Velen Harbor more or less intact. Come, drink up! Forget your troubles! The captain's men are as disgusted with her as I am. With the townsfolk willing to testify against her, the fists of Thalmor will have no choice but to cashier her. She'll be locked up until we receive word from Elden Root. My job? We were sent here to escort the Green Lady. 
but the town's defenses will need a bit of work first. I'm sure our paths will cross again someday.